Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And the new Modern Warfare 1.22 update patch notes just came out. And I'm going over everything that changed within this new update so you guys are ready to roll for season four. Now remember, if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all updates, best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or any gameplay breakdowns that I do that I analyze my gameplay or potentially break down and analyze your gameplay to help you guys improve make sure you guys absolutely smash up on the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications with all being said let's get right and go over the patch notes within this new 1.22 update we're gonna be starting off with the weapons because i feel like this is the most important kind of topics to discuss you guys know exactly what changed within this update so right here for the weapons they lowered ammo count for the reload warning on belt fed lmgs they also fixed a bug with hdr and slide of hand where reloading would not give ammo to the player now for warzone there is a loot update new weapons and updated blueprints be on the lookout for the finnick cr 57 amax renetti and more so the finnick and the cr 57 56 amax the Finnick, aka, this is going to be the Vector, and the CR-56 is going to be the Galil. So these are going to be in Warzone and obviously in multiplayer. Fixed a bug where the recon contract would spawn inside an ammo supply cache, making it unusable. After completing contraband missions and calling in the ex extract helicopter, players could shoot the helicopter without reviving or receiving hit markers, and the helicopter would remain on screen indefinitely. Fixed a bug where players were, a were able to drop their weapon in the gulag. Fixed uh, for an exploit where players were able to duplicate self-revive kits. That's definitely a problem in Warzone. Special operations. Fixed for a bug where a player was struck in stuck in third person gameplay. Daily challenges are now displayed alongside multiplayer and Warzone challenges. Fixed an issue where unlocking an operator skin in co-op would not unlock the base skin for that operator as well. Fixed a bug where the game would not end correctly if the last player alive used Team Revive immediately before dying. And for Special Operations Survival, fixed for an up a fix for being able to duplicate the Juggernaut suit uh, munitions minigun. Fixed for rare instances of waves not ending properly. And a fix an exploit on sick pressure grab where players could fully hide from soldiers behind a bar. Now I'm going to jump up to the beginning of the patch notes so you guys know exactly how big this update actually is going to be. Now you can see here the update size on the PS4 is going to be 32.5 gigabytes on the Xbox One is going to be 44.3 gigabytes for PC premium players it's going to be 45 gigabytes and also for PC free to play players it's going to be 39.6 gigabytes a pretty hefty update but like i said in a previous video they already had came out and stated this update is going to be on the rather large size so be prepared to download the update and if you guys have to copy it be prepared to also copy this update as well and Freddy Ward also has confirmed that after installing the update on ps4 and xbox one the overall file will only take up an additional four gigabytes of space more info on how to reduce the game size is in here season four brings a new battle pass with the price option Operator, brand new multiplayer map, new weapons, new vehicle skins, and new Warzone content, and more. So you guys can see here, uh, once you have locked, uh, there's weapon mastery challenges. Once you have locked gold for a weapon, mastery challenges become available. There's eight challenges per weapon, each granting their own reward with four player cards and four emblems up for grabs. You'll see them to make your way through two kill challenges, two headshot challenges, and four additional challenges that must be done in order. Gold, platinum, Damascus, and obsidian. Completing all the challenges for 51 weapons unlocks a badass special sticker and player card. Now... Honestly, I do wish this was actually a, a camo as well. They say it's badass, so hopefully whoever gets this unlocked quick can showcase this so we know exactly what it's going to be. Now, there's actually going to be some new Warzone in-game uh, events. Jailbreak, Fire Sale, and the Supply, uh, the supply Choppers. Now, Jailbreak. When a jailbreak occurs, all players that have been eliminated will be released back into the match. Whether you were waiting for your 1v1 in the gulag or have been neglected to a spectator, 
Now you'll have another chance. You will get one minute notice before a jailbreak event happens to find additional armor or secure a weapon for your returning teammates. Jailbreak events can only occur any time during the middle game of a battle royale match, so it may be worth to spectate just in case. Be mindful that when a jailbreak occurs, it's not just your teammates that are coming back, but tons of additional enemies. Now for Fire Sale, this is an in-game event that temporarily discounts most of the items at a buy station up to 80% or even gives items out completely free. Very cool. A fire sale is the perfect time to pick up a UAV, armor box for your squad, or even a lethal kill streak. During a file sale, buying back a fallen teammate is completely free. Awesome. If you short, if you're short, uh, shot on in match cash, if you're short on in match cash, or a fire sale might be the best chance to redeploy a squad mate. Note that even during a file sale, drop, loadout drops will not are not discontinued. Fire sales only last 60 seconds, so expect buy stations to be crowded and prepare for a fight. Going to be a, a very good way to kind of get a lot of additional kills here in Warzone. There are supply choppers coming as well. Event bringing brings a non-lethal but heavily armored chopper to Vernask. The, the helicopter will have a lot of health and require a few rounds of bullets or maybe even a rocket or two to bring it down. The helicopter will not shoot you, but make sure that your distracted, distracting enemies uh, do not take advantage. Once you destroy the supply chopper, it will drop high-quality loot for players to pick up. This loot includes three UAVs, two armor boxes, a munitions box, a gas mag, a grenade launcher, and tons of cash at a minimum. Supply choppers leave after a certain period of time, so if you want to take one out, start firing right away. Remember that after taking down supply chopper, you have to collect the loot. Watch out for enemy teams who might try to take your loot during the collection or steal your heart earned rewards awesome i absolutely love that and i think this is fantastic they're going ahead and bringing this into warzone definitely going to go ahead and add a completely different dynamic now for the playlist update um they're going to be adding in barricade uh promenade has been added to ground where it's going to be the new ground where map trench mosh pit was going to be 2v2 scrapper which is going to be a 24 7 playlist and blueprint gunfight now for warzone they're going to be bringing in quads trios duos solos blood money as well as warzone rumble warzone rumble is a brand new mode in warzone two teams of 50 players parachute and battle it out in various areas around vernask this mode is high action with custom loadouts vehicles and quick respawns awesome so this is going to be really cool for bringing in you know new character into warzone now we're going to go into general fixes fix for some players not receiving their season 3 emblem fix is to help reduce players in encountering error code 1371 if you still experience this update after today please reach out to activision customer support fix for a bug where the ghost perk was not hiding players from the heartbeat sensor when viewing the kill cam fix an issue where some players were unable to activate a nuke after getting the appropriate number of kills thank god this actually got fixed Fortunately, I never had this issue happen to me, but best believe if I did, that'd be definitely annoying. Fixed for a bug where the fourth operative mission for Talon to complete two Warzone Plunder matches was not tracking as intended. Fixed for an issue where some players could find long wait times when attempting to load into ground war matches. Fixed for a bug where neutral hard points were appearing yellow instead of gray. Various fixes across multiplayer maps. Fix for the off officer challenges, get 20 kills while crouch, not tracking properly for some players. Fixed a bug where the white health uh, region triggering on a down, uh, downing other players, even and even if quick fix wasn't equipped. Uh, fix for an exploit where players could sometimes call in duplicate UAVs. Added new weapon perks to specialist bonus. The bonus earned after getting 8 kills while specialist active, active is flangible uh, disabling, flangible wounding, mo money, recon, heavy hitter, FMJ, and presence of mind. So they did kind of buff specialist within this update. Uh, fixed a bug where players were unable to perform perform executions when some on some elevated surfaces ah they fixed that damn that was kind of funny uh fixed to help prevent an issue where players weren't able to move before the match countdown or able to move before the match countdown uh timer was completed thank god this got fixed because a lot of people were actually able to get across the map sometimes even in the enemy spawn you know when the game just started up and that was definitely annoying uh fixed to help prevent against black graphical corruption issues some players were seeing fix for the for the cause grip tape not appearing properly on the base m4 and improved stability fixes for pc and also fixes to help prevent issues with voice chat so those are gonna be all the changes from the new 1.22 update that just went live or is going to be going live depending on when you're watching this in modern warfare now we have not seen a lot of weapon balancing and tuning within this update 
Hopefully they just buff weapons that need to be buffed and that are on kind of the lower end of the spectrum instead of nerfing guns. We'll probably see a lot more of this during the later end of the season. But like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section on this. Like I said, buffing weapons that need to be buffed, do that. But I think nerfing is done. Don't. There's no reason to nerf anything else. It's eight months into the game's life cycle. There's absolutely no reason to go ahead and disrupt the meta anymore. So let me know what you guys think about this update. Is it a positive? Is it a negative? Honestly, I saw nothing negative in this update. I'm excited for season four and, you know, excited to jump into the battlefield. Hope you guys are too. If you guys want to see, you know, more content on the channel. Also, if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all updates, best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or any gameplay breakdowns, make sure you guys absolutely smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. All being said, I'm going to catch you guys when Season 4 does release. All aboard that battle bus.